Amen, amen, amen. If you have your Bibles, we turn to the book of Luke, chapter 2. Luke, chapter 2. Amen. Beginning at verse number 8. Luke, chapter 2, beginning at verse number 8. Amen. Glory to God. He is good. He is good. He is good. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. amen. You get that signified by saying word and word. stand to your feet. Amen. Word. Amen. We got a little bit to read this morning. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't much, just a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 2, beginning at verse number 8. And the word of God reads, and it says, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them in the heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us uh, now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing, which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in their heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when the eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Amen. Amen. Well, the message today that is entitled, Wrapped in Swaddling Clothes and Circumcised on the Eighth Day. Wrapped in swaddling clothes Amen. and circumcised on the eighth day. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Father God, today for your grace, your mercy, and your love. We just honor you and we praise you and we glorify your name, O oh God. That this day, Father God, we celebrate, Father God, the final day of 2017. Amen. As we're about to step into 2018, Father God, later on. We just thank you, Father God, for how, how you have brought us through. So, Father God, we give you glory, we give you praise, we honor and glorify and magnify your name, O oh God. Amen. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Wrapped in swaddling clothes and circumcised on the eighth day. Amen. Amen. As we close out this year of 2017, I wanted to thank God for all that we have accomplished in this past year. Amen. Because I can see that some of us have made some big strides. I've made some big strides. Amen. I've accomplished Amen. a lot of things, just personal stuff, I mean, because I had to prove some things to me. Amen. And a lot of you all have had to prove some stuff to yourself. Amen. Amen. You ain't tell nobody about it, but you know, hey, you know, I did that thing. You know, mm -hmm. I don't need no trophy. Mm -hmm. I, don't need no, I don't need no award. Mm -hmm. I don't need no pat on the back. Mm -hmm. I don't need y'all telling me, great job, preacher. I don't need none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm happy because of what I did for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And I know that you should be happy with what you did for yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and as a congregation, we've seen a lot of victories. Yes, God. We had some challenges. Yes, yes. God. We have prayed and we have and we have loved. But the love of God has pulled us through. Amen. Amen. With his grace and with his mercy, 
we will be able to cross the line and step into 2018 with power, grace, and hope. Amen. 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 Now we have hope in Christ. It has to be pulled on and developed. Mm. Amen. This, this hope that's in us, that's in Christ Jesus, who is the hope of glory, we got to pull on that thing. Amen. We got to pull on that thing, we, and we got to work on it so it can be developed and so it can manifest in, in our lives. Amen. 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 It, it's, it's just like, you know, uh, uh, when you go working out. Amen. Amen. If you so much overweight, but deep down inside of you is that guy with that six pack. You got Amen. 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 Deep down inside of you, ladies, is that woman that, that can wear a 10 or an 8. You got to pull out of her. Amen. Um, Some of us has a whole lot to pull. Amen. 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 I know for me, get, get back down to. I had that six pack I had when I was a young man, amen. My wife don't require that of me. Amen. She don't. <laughs> Y'all laugh all you want to. Good. Mm. Mm -hmm. But she don't require me to have no six pack. Amen. amen. Maybe a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get a two, baby. Get a two. Get old two piece, baby. You'll be all right. Amen. 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 See, but, but, but see, we got to pull on that thing and, and develop it and, 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 and manifest it so we can elevate our lives and those around us so they can observe our growth. Mm -hmm. Come on now, because some folk that you know that been struggling with stuff, amen, and you see them have a breakthrough, and you, and you, and you, and you know how we do, we ain't going to say nothing. We ain't going to say, oh, we get getting on, we ain't going to say, oh, Mm. If you can do it, Amen. I can do it. Amen. I ain't gonna ask you how you did it, Amen. where you went at, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure it out. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? How did you gonna lose 100 pounds? I'm trying to lose 30. If you don't lose 100, I can't lose 30. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. How did you gonna say $10,000? I can't save a thousand. Amen. Mm. Amen. So I'm gonna get to work. Yeah. My stuff. Yeah. Amen. 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 See, 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 see. We got we, we, we to pull on this thing so that we can elevate our lives so that those around us can observe our growth, not only in, in Christ and in the church, but in our personal lives, our marriages, and our relationships. Amen. 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 See, there was a time when they told me that me and this girl wasn't going to make it. Mm -hmm. My mom told me, my mom told me when I first bought her home, look at her, I'm, I'm going to marry her. She said, boy, boy don't you hurt that girl. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't do what about her hurting me. I don't even want to think the man going to hurt the woman. You go to the door right there, hurt me as much as I can hurt her, amen. amen. But we made it. Amen. 40 years. Amen. 40, amen. 40 years of marriage. Like I tell y'all before, ain't no... That women is a is a viable opponent. Mm. <laughs> Say that again, yeah. Ram. <laughs> when y'all in the bedroom, you in the one where she in her brown panties, when them fights break out back in the night, I'm fist on the mother, mental and verbal. Mm. Them don't hold their own. Oh, amen. amen. If you don't think they can't with you, get in, get in with them swamps. Right, right, right. Say that, Ray. You <laughs> <laughs> come out the door like, Lord, was Mike Tyson in that door? <laughs> <laughs> how you, how you think, how you think, how, how you question your manhood if she ain't gonna punch? Right. <laughs> <laughs> For these upcoming days yes. and weeks yes. and months. Yes. And let us not forget the things we were taught this past year. Don't forget them lessons that you all oh, you fought through, you struggled with, yes. and that you got yes. victory. Don't go back to that mess. Yes. Yes. Don't yes. go back to them, yes. them, them trials. Just because you got some news, you got to go in, you got to fight going into the 2018. Don't go back in the 2017. Go into 2018 with your victory, with your trophy. Yes, yes. Lord yes. God. Glory yes. to God. Because yes. soon the next fight starts, you got to put that trophy down. Amen. Amen. Oh, Y'all hear me? Amen. Amen. You can't go on and have a year. 
ain't gonna put that trophy there and be ready to fight. Uh -huh. Come on now. Right, right. Oh, that was just tune up. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You might have saved a thousand dollars, but this next test is saved ten things. Can you save ten things? Yes, yes Lord, Lord God. Y'all hear me? Amen. You, you, you thought you did good coming out of that hoopie and got you an almost brand new car, but now it's time to get what? A, a new car. car. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Upgrade. Like I told y'all before, when you, when, when, when you move up, keep moving. Amen. Amen. Keep moving. Don't stop. Amen. Amen. Glory. Don't stop in between floors. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. See, 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 the, uh, the big lessons will not be so easy to forget. Amen. But it's the little lessons that make a big impact on our lives. Amen. Amen. Like making up the bed, mm -hmm. washing your hands yeah. after using the restroom, mm -hmm. little stuff, <laughs> brushing your teeth every day. Taking out the trash. Mm -hmm. Those small things that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. Because you know how it is. You be around some folks. You don't never make up the bed. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but never take out the trash around here. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> the little stuff. The stuff we take for granted. Amen. Amen. Because some of us was, some of us was trained. When your feet hit the floor, do make, what? Make that bed. Make that bed. Amen. Cause we had a mama to come in like a drill sergeant and had us. Amen. We were little jokers. Amen. We knew about hospital corners before she. <laughs> my mama was a nurse for almost 40 years. <laughs> they get paid up, boy. Huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we were little jokers. <laughs> Amen. See, so also in the church as well, like, 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 like praying daily. Yes. Read your Bible daily, Amen. paying your tithes and giving an offering, and loving others as you love yourself. Amen. There is the little things. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. There is little things. And in, in some people's lives, the little things are not being done. And that's why we struggle with the big things Amen. God has Amen. for us. Amen. Amen. Coco, you ain't done, you ain't done, you ain't done your little work yet. You know, and God give you this, this, this great big old. Amen. Amen. Challenge you probably like, what do I do with that? If you had done the little stuff, you see how to work that big thing. Amen. 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 Because that big thing sits on top of the little stuff. Amen. 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 It's just like on Christmas morning when, when, when we was little, and Dad would put the toys together, but he wouldn't. Read the instruction. <laughs> and sometimes he'd leave a screw out, a piece out. We're like, what's all this stuff? I ain't nothing. You got to sit and play with it. About an hour is broke. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. and the same way we do God. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't put all the pieces together. Amen. And when he comes out to take, to take what you built and, and use it, it falls apart. Mm -hmm. Well, see, first of all, he already knew you didn't make it. Make it right. Amen. Amen. He's going to show you that you didn't do it right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now, and, 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 and in this, this is what brings us to this lesson today. Wrapped in swaddling clothes and circumcised on the eighth day. Go back to, to Luke chapter 2, pick up in verse number 8. Amen. 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 Stay with me, y'all. Word, word. I got a lesson for us today. Can I hear him? Hear ye him today. Amen. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flock. What? By night. By night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And it shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe, what? Wrapped in swaddling clothes, where? Lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God, and saying, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Amen? Amen. Now, the angel of the Lord 
I told the shepherds. Now you, you gotta understand. They was come on. They was out in the fields when at night. Then all of a sudden, what happened? This big old bright light showed up. I don't know about you, but being out in the middle of the field at night with all that light, oh Lord, oh, ain't gonna say what? Fear not. Scared him going to death. Hold up, homes. It's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. And he said, he told them, he told the shepherds, go into the city of David, which was Bethlehem, and they're going to find what? A baby. A baby. Mm -hmm. What? Wrapped, Wrapped up. in swaddling. What they looking for? A baby. A baby, a baby what? Wrapped in <laughs> mm -hmm. They got specific instructions to go what? Looking for this baby. Right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, no, no, no. Oh, there he is. <laughs> See, see y'all understand? See, they got instructions to go find a baby. What? Wrapped in swaddling clothes. Hear me now. Amen. Instructions. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And he's where's he laying at? In a manger. In a manger. Amen. They looking for no baby. It's wrapped in one a blanket. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not in a onesie. Amen. But wrapped in swaddling clothes. Now, swaddling clothes, these were bandages yeah. wrapped tightly around a newborn child. Amen. And the rank of the child was indicated by the splendor and costliness of the bands. Amen. Amen. Fine shawls and scarves were used by the rich and common cloths were used by the poor. Amen. Amen. Cause I know some of y'all, uh, you know how you bring your baby home in what? The receiving blanket. Mm -hmm. Too many of us, a lot of us, some of us, we think we ain't care because it wasn't no big deal. But if you was a person of means, uh, you didn't take your baby home in the receiving blanket that the hospital gave you. Mm -hmm. Y'all better hear me. Yeah. You bought your own blanket in there. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God. Can I get that amen? Amen. Come on, come on. amen. 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 Yeah, not my babies. I don't know. When we was having our children, the hospital gave you a little car seat to, to take the baby home in. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And a lot of us say, oh, no. Not my baby. Right. <laughs> not, in the, not in the free car seat. <laughs> amen. 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 Oh, somebody say amen for real. Amen. They know exactly what I just said, but that's what you need. Amen. Y'all keep that one. <laughs> I, I, I got, I, you done went and bought not my baby. Yeah. I done struggled with the drug for nine months. He ain't gonna be in no accident going on. <laughs> Some of y'all didn't want to put the baby in the car seat. You tell them, oh, the baby, put the baby in the car seat. Right. I'm riding in the back. Kill him. The same thing going on back then. You had that baby, you, put, you had some money, you got, oh my God, you had some, his spotting clothes was tight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about Gucci down, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You know how we do, we got new ones now with, with Nikes on. What a new one do about some Nikes? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm supposed to put on my baby. Booties. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah. But these babies look like mummies. Amen. With no sign of arms or legs. Even the head was wrapped. Only the eyes was visible. Amen. Amen. We're talking about swaddling, swaddling, being swaddled. We're talking about strips of clothing. We're talking about being wrapped up all the Job uh, uh, 38 and, and 9. Keep the ribbon at, 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 uh, at, at Luke 2. But go over to Job 38. I want y'all to hear some of this. Hallelujah. Job 38 and verse number 9. Amen. Job 38 and 9. Word. Word. And he says here in 9, he says, he says, when I made the cloud the garment thereof, and the thick darkness or swaddling band for it. He took the cloud 
and swallow, swallow them up in it. Amen. Amen. Go to Lamentations uh, chapter 2. Lamentations 2. It's behind uh, Jeremiah. In between uh, Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Lamentations 2 and, and 22. Amen. Word. Amen. Hallelujah. Lamentations 2 and 22. Amen. And because God's talking about a rapping. <laughs> there's, there's a rapping. Amen. And 22 says, Thou hast called as in a solemn day my what? Terrors round about, so that in the day of the Lord's anger none escape nor remain those that I have what? Swallowed. Those that I have what? Swallowed. swallowed, swallowed, and brought up my enemy consumed. Go to Ezekiel. Next, next, next book over Ezekiel 16. We're talking about being wrapped up uh, by God. Amen. Ezekiel 16 and 4, and it says here, he says that, uh, and, 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 as, and as for thy nativity, in the day that thou wast born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to suckle thee. Thou wast not salted at all, nor what? Swallowed at all. I mean, you, get, you, you didn't get wrapped up, you didn't get cared for, you didn't get salted, you didn't get washed, you didn't get bathed, you just laid over in the afterbirth, all in the blood and stuff. The, nobody came along and cleaned you up and, and swaddled you. Amen. Amen. Please hear God today. Those scriptures spoke about swaddling, the, the, the wrapping up. God gave the shepherds specific instructions Amen. by way of the angel of the Lord that they were to go to Bethlehem and find the baby wrapped in swaddling and lying in a manger. Not in a bassinet, mm -mm. not in a crib, mm -mm. but where? Amen. In a manger. Amen. Now like we said earlier, that a manger is a feeding trough. Amen. An ark. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Savior of the world who is the bread of life, you will find him where? In the manger or the ark and the feeding trough of animals. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's also called the ark. The ark was used by God to save the seed Amen. of Noah and his children and God used that seed to replenish and repopulate the earth. And God is telling these shepherds, you're going to find the Savior of the world in an ark. Amen. Are y'all with me today? Amen. Amen. Not only that, but we got to figure in the midwives. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to figure that Joseph did wrap that baby up. Amen. Hmm. Can I get an amen? amen. You got to think in the midwives. Amen. Who delivered the baby? Amen. amen. Who wrapped him in swaddling clothes? Amen. Who retrieved, who retrieved the afterbirth? The, the placenta. The midwives. Amen. If God can get angels and shepherds, he, he, he can get Joseph and Mary to the place they needed to be, he also provided the best midwives for this delivery. Amen. Amen. And you hear me today? Amen. Amen. They still use midwives today. Amen. A lot of those nurses who work in hospitals have their CNM. They are certified nurses in midwifery. Amen. Amen. Certified midwife nurses make over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Amen. And these CNMs are advanced in being midwives. And they are registered nurses. Many are nurse practitioners. Because you know that when you're in that, when you're in that room uh, and you're about to give birth, it ain't the doctor that comes in there and says, oh, we got two centimeters. We got to get to what, eight or ten? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It ain't the doctor that's doing that. Amen. That's the midwife. Right. You only know her as a nurse. She's a certified nurse midwife. Amen. And she comes back, and you leave that, you want to tell you, that's a midwife. Mm. Ain't the doctor. Amen. 
Are y'all here me today? Mm -hmm. Amen. So when she comes back in and she says, okay, we got 10. She says, did she says what? Go get the doctor. Y'all yep. yep. don't hear me today. Mm -hmm. See, y'all didn't know that. Mm. I didn't know it either. So I got to study. I kept saying, God, you keep trying to be big wise for Mm. What's all this about? So I got to Google and meet me wives. So I said, oh, okay. I've got, I wish I, I had so many questions. I said, I can't give all this, Lord. You mm. ain't got this for you. Mm. <laughs> Amen. 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 So when, you, when, when the doctor comes in, you all know, do, 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 stay with me. Just calm down, preacher. <laughs> Hallelujah! Something got to give birth in this place. God got to put something in the atmosphere. Glory to God! I'm praying with something. Glory to God! Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh God! Thank you, oh God! Hallelujah! Do you know that? Once the midwife says, go get the doctor, how the activity picks up in the room. Yes. Amen. People get to coming from everywhere. Yes. Pull in all kinds of machines and all kinds of trays. And you sit down to like, what is all what's going on? It looks like a, a, a train station. Are people come in, close that door. I'm going to all the glory all over. <laughs> Folk coming in and out, you look at it, look at it. Man, who is all y'all? Let <laughs> <laughs> hey, get your hand out of there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Then, then, then he comes in and sits down. He puts on his, come on, he puts, he puts on his mask. It, it's it's, it's showtime now, baby. Y'all right, right, right. right. don't hear me. Amen. It's showtime. Go away to God. And, and, and the one nurse will tell you to breathe and none tell you to push. And I'm sweating. Oh, God, Jesus. Next time I know, you hear that little sound? Here he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then who the first person to leave the room? The doctor. The doctor. He done his job. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Two feet of nurses, they start cleaning up. They still they out of there. And one of them over got your baby, wiping it, wiping your baby, your baby out. Spread that little thing in their mouth and spit up all kind of stuff. And, and, but you hand me the baby, you <laughs> need to throw up some more. Yeah. I need to pass. Yeah. All that green and yellow and baby. <laughs> but you hand the baby to the mama Lord have mercy and she just you know, so she been mad crying so she's uh, sweating her all over her head and, oh. <laughs> that was Mary amen amen, yes, God. Lord God. amen. All right. so, so so I can just think Mary saying that, oh so you God <laughs> saved the other world don't look like it to me. <laughs> if you're going to be the one saving the world, but you got to grow up in a bit. <laughs> no. Amen. Amen. Let, let, let's give God some praise. Amen. 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 We're not going to be long before you. Amen. We're going to get out of here so you can make it back tonight. Lord. Exodus 1, verse 15. Amen. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew what? Midwife. Oh. Of which the name of the one was Shepra. The name of the other was Pua. And he said, when ye do the office of the midwife to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools, the birthing stools, mm -hmm. and you see a son, and ye shall what? Kill, Kill him. Amen. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwife asked what? Yeah. Fearing God. And did not as the king commanded them, but what? Save the men children alive. Mm -hmm. 
And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing and have saved the men and children alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively. And they, and they delivered her, the midwives, come in under them. I mean, they gave birth before we showed up. Therefore God dealt with the midwives, and, and the people multiplied and waxed very greatly. And it came to pass because the what? Midwives. Because who? Midwives. Feared God. He made them houses. And Pharaoh charged, see, obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. If you, if, 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 if you diligently seek the Lord, he is a rewarder Amen. of those who diligently seek. See, he, he, because, they, because they feared God and disobeyed man, God gave them women houses. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Let me say this. If God gave you a house, mm. it ain't no shack. Amen. 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 Ain't no cheap appliances in there. Amen. Ain't no cheap carpet in there. Amen. 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 Glory to God. God gave him houses. Verse 22. And, 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 and Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born ye, what? Cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive. Amen. Amen. See, understand, understand. That's why it's important to know God's word and know God. Amen. 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 He, he is giving other people information about you. And when they search far and wide and finally what finds you and come upon you, you need to be who God told you. Them Amen. that they would find Amen. in you. Hallelujah. Amen. He told their angels, go to Bethlehem Amen. and look for the baby. What? Rats. Wrapped in swaddling clothes. Laying word Amen. in the manger. Amen. What if Mary and Joseph just wrapped him in a blanket? It walked right on by. What if he showed up and showed up he, was, he wasn't in the manger, they would have walked right on by. Amen. 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 Go back to Luke 2, 2 and, and 21. Amen. And when the eight days were accomplished for the what? Circumcising of the child. His name was called Jesus which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now, the eighth day of circumcision, the eighth day was the day of circumcision, the eighth day, eighth, 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 the eighth, uh, the, divorce, the eighth day was the day of circumcision, but it was also the day that the baby was named. Amen. I need to hear me today. Amen. The angel said his name was to be Jesus, and according to the Jewish ceremony, this was the day it was done on. On the eighth day, he got circumcised, and he was named. Amen. God is after those who align their lives with his word. Amen. We all have work to do to get to that place. Amen. We got work to do. So, 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 so that what God said about you can catch up to you. Amen. What God, see, God spoke that he was coming 4,000 years before he came. The prophets of old prophesied that he was coming. He said he's going to be born of a virgin. He's going to be born in Bethlehem. The angel showed him and said, look, shepherds, go into the city of David. You're going to find a child wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. And so when they walked in there and found that baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger, like the Bible says, they rejoiced and praised God. 
Amen. Then they went out telling everybody what they saw and what they heard. Glory to God. The thing we got to understand is, is that God is expecting each of us to be who he has called us to be. So that when he sends somebody to you, you are who they are looking for. Amen. Are you the one or shall we look for another? Is it you I'm looking for? Is, did God send me to you? Do you have what God says you should have for me? Are you the one? Do I got to go look for another? Glory to God. God is already preparing everything you be what he has called you to be. Amen. Amen. We got work, church, to do. We got work, people, to do. To be who God has called us to be so that we can be in that place when others come looking for you. Amen. 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 Close your eyes. Stand to your feet. Amen. Now, I know God has said some things to some of us today, amen. If you're here in this room today and God has spoken to you today, that if you are here today and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I ask that you would come and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you're here today and you have not been baptized, you'd like to be baptized, I ask for you to come then and be baptized. If you're here today and you want to become part of this ministry, amen, we ask that you would come forward and be part of this ministry. Hallelujah. We, we, we've offered you these three things. To, to be saved, to be baptized, and to join this ministry. So if you're here today, would, would you come today? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there another today? Is there another today? I know God has, has touched people. Amen. And if it wasn't one of those things that, that, that we called out, and you know God is calling you to come today for whatever reason, come today. Come today. Don't you gotta wait till tonight and next week. Amen. God is moving in your life and in your heart about anything. Would you come today? Would you come? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Well, God is moving in, in our midst. Amen. God is moving in our midst. Amen. I, I thank God for the day of today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Nigel, would you come and pray with them? Amen. Pam, would 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 you come and pray with um pray pray with them? Amen. Eric, would you come? Pray with uh, the Martins. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Amen. So, uh, Richard and Anya Jones are coming for membership. Amen. I give my hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Now, do, do you all both know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Amen, amen. Well, that's all you need to be a member of this church. And we're going to make you jump through a whole lot of hoops and all that old stuff. Just, just come to church. Be, be good, faithful Christians and good, faithful members. Amen. So, by your confession, we welcome you. Amen, amen. We welcome you, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, uh, turn around to the people, and yet, and yet, while they are while they are yet praying, we want the rest of y'all to come and welcome this this couple into the body of Christ. Hallelujah! Would you come? Come on, 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 come
Come on, come on this way. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on